What is going on everyone? My name's Boyt and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology. The Titans action spawning in the bottom of the map in the red color playing as Thor. His name is Avely. His opponent today in the blue color playing as Zeus. It's Wiz. We, are, we do have the not so old Wiz and the guy who is calling himself Avely by saying, I am Avely. Yes, hear me roar. So, backstory. Competitive Mega Random Tournament, $1,000 tournament. That's a lot of money. Great. Age of Mythology, also an incredibly good game. Players, we've got Wiz here. New Zealand born and bred. Brother from another mother in another way, shape or form. To yours truly. And overall, good looking chap. His opponent, on the other hand, uh... I don't know if you guys know this guy, but he's an ex-expert. He is a guy who used to be one of the best players in the game. He was an, and, and right now he is one of the more strong Age of Empires 4 players. One of the top Age of Empires 4 players, if you will. Uh, I'm not sure if, if you can class, classify him in like the top, the top like eight or whatever, but he is definitely in the top nth number of Age of Empires 4 players. Uh, so he's come back and he's going to be participating in this tournament, showing everyone what he's got. Uh, and he was actually known for his ISIS play way back when, uh, and mostly known for his ISIS laming. His ISIS laming. So, we'll see how this game's going to go. Uh, we do have a couple of players in the chat saying, I remember this map. And guess what? This is a somewhat of a map spawn on competitive Mega Random. The more we see this map, the more we're realizing that, yes, it is competitive Mega Random. Every map is different. But the map layouts do have a finite amount, which is part of the, the way in which they are made competitive, which means a couple of things. One, there's room for updates to add more layouts, to take out layouts we don't like, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But two, it means when you see a layout, it doesn't mean you know anything about the map. You still have to scout. You still have to play the map as if it is competitive mega random. And this map here is a map in which is very, very nice and defensive. You get uh, you get these long bits of, of cliff or, f or, or forest and they block off the map beautifully. And it can be, it can make it for some very, very interesting maps. It, it reminds me a lot of Jotunheim in a big way, except without. Rest in peace, my soldier. Minute of silence, guys. All right, that's enough. So, uh, yes. Yes, anything can happen here. I'm excited to see what's going to happen. We are seeing Avely going through Four City. I do think that Four City is the best option here for Thor. I think that if you see, if a Thor player, the Thor player has to react to see what the Zeus player is going to do. So if the Zeus player goes for Athena, you have to you have to do something like that. If the, the, if the you have to go for um, if you see Athena, you have to go Hersa throwing Axeman. If you're if you're uh, if the Zeus player goes Hermes, you have to go. Her so throwing axe. So that's not really a lot of reaction, but basically how you do it is the big important thing is we are seeing some walls getting dropped nice and early. This is very, very, uh, very, very Age of Empires 4-esque. But we did see, I, I believe it was Joe doing something very similar to this, throwing up these walls very, very early. And there's also another player by the name, it's escaping me, Yoshi who threw up or, or soup, one of the three. It's one of the Norse players. They just love throwing up those early walls as fast as they possibly can. But the center has already snuck through. Going to be looking for some villager kills. The villagers moving over here onto these chicken. There are berries up on this location. And it doesn't seem like uh, Avely has found his hunt just yet. Or maybe there is no hunt is actually the, uh, the actual secret here is that there's actually no hunt makes this map very difficult to play for the Thor player uh, and very very happy for the Zeus player to go with the with the set with the centaur basically as the Odysseus wanders through here going to be able to finish off that troll nice play there from Wiz thanks so much for the prime Connie Shin appreciate you my friend 
Uh, and now the centaur going to be swinging around here looking for uh, some some dead dwarves or something like that as Sylvan Law is going to be coming through. And Avely is going to be in a tough position here. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, this is this is very very tough to play from this position. Trying to get these, uh, trying to get these walls up. The Sylvan Lord does come in. The dwarves getting taken out in the back. There is a Hersa over here to come through and take out one of these centaurs as the dwarves retreating away. The dwarves getting into the town center here, and we will be seeing a villager getting picked off over here. Yes, we see one going down as the Hersa does get bolted there as well so now that now Wiz can hang in here but we are seeing a town center coming up for Avely as the centaur are continuing to run a, a absolute rampage on Avely as he's retreating back and will lose another dwarf here these centaur are getting max value as the Hursa chasing them around Avely does have the favor to get himself Hall of Fame that does not yet have the wood to get that one as he did decide to go for the town center first which might have been a little bit greedy here as the Odysseus is wandering forward here, we are seeing uh, Wiz opting for Hippocon Centaur here, which is an interesting development, maybe because of the lack of food on the map. We see a random cow up here. I just want to reveal the map and see if there is indeed another hunt spawn. It doesn't look like there is, unless it's like an elephant or something up here. Oh, it's just a cow. Alrighty. Uh, and we are seeing an attempt at a wall over here as the centaur are going to swing through here. At Ively going to be getting himself a watchtower as well. Uh, and these dwarves and villagers over here going to be in a bit of trouble as we do see the town center just about up. Mithril Horseshoes is getting grabbed here for Avely. If you do see Mithril Horseshoes, it's actually one of the few times in which you probably don't actually need to go for Seti as the villagers getting taken out here. The Hursa trying to come back over to help take these ones down. The low HP dwarf will get into the town center just in time there, dodging that final arrow from Wiz as he is... Uh, Literally running circles around his opponent here with these Santar. Uh, and where to next is the big question. So for me, I try, if I'm in these situations, I try and figure out a way in which I can get to the heroic age without farming if I can. If I have to farm, I have to farm. But what's happening here from Wiz is he's opting to go for these Hippocom, which he probably doesn't need to go for. He could be going to the heroic age and then to the mythic age behind this. Uh, without any need to farm and you can find yourself with some incredibly strong uh, incredibly strong Heliopolis kind of ideas if your opponent is in a similar position having farmed you get a big advantage where that's concerned and you can just actually buy food for a little bit and look the dream up so it's got a video on it, it kind of works but in this situation here, just making like, say, three or four or six centaur or something, using all the food in your base, and then going heroic age, chucking everything onto gold, going mythic age, chucking uh, lightning storm down, absolutely brutal here. Uh, but Wiz just going to be sitting outside his opponent's base, going to try and break through these walls that have been set up by Avely, as Avely is going to try and get his village account up here. You can see that this town center is not paying itself off right now, as Avely does not have the resources in the slightest here to continue. He doesn't even have his gold mine here either, as he's chucking down a dwarven armory, uh, the longhouse over here as well. And we will be seeing this... Uh, this big long wall that took so long for Avely to build here, getting taken out. Boom, goes down. The Hursa has to retreat back. Avely needs to start throwing farms down around his base as now the tower here can get taken down. As we are seeing crenellations getting grabbed here for Avely in a very desperate attempt, but there's no protection for this tower as it's underneath... Well, there's just no, there's just no protection for it. So now the gold of Avely is under threat. He's only got 1,800 gold. Well, he's got 1,850 gold remaining here, which is plenty normally. But this is going to be a difficult one for him to control here. As the centaur come in, going to be able to take down some of these villages. Takes out one. There's another dwarf here that he could potentially get killed, but he doesn't manage to take it out. The uh, gatherer does get taken down here. As two centaur going to get taken out, just barely. Maybe crenellations did come through i think yes it does but the the center and the hippocon do get out of here as now avely returns back onto this gold mine with two dwarves he's in such a difficult situation as now we see wiz with the second town center obviously taking this one nice and slow we will be seeing the hersa getting taken out here as well as the advantage in villages is 
quite significant right now as you can start seeing Wiz throwing up his farms in a very, very calm, methodical manner here. Has all of the advantages. We see the, the Hippocon coming in to deal with these Hursa. Four Hippocon against four Hursa. A very, very equal fight in a lot of ways. The Hursa have got a little bit more armor. The Hippocon have got a little bit more HP. A little bit more damage. So it ends up being very, very equal. And the Longhouse coming up over here. It's Avery going to continue to try and defend his gold mine over here as best as he can. More farms coming down for Wiz. He's realizing he doesn't really have to do a whole lot here in terms of pressure, just getting the economy sorted is paramount. And we'll see where to next in this uh, in this game as, I mean, maybe an armory? Yeah, we're just going to throw an armory down. Could be time to drop down some barracks. You can actually go for heroic age shenanigans here as well, considering you got the farm set up. Get yourself early irrigation, throw the barracks down, heavy infantry. Or underworld from this gold mine over here to this gold mine here. Hit this hit this town center. Live the dream. All these things are uh, options here for Wiz. So he just has to pick one, basically. I know that in my experience, Wiz is fairly... Uh, he's fairly more... More... Uh, more preferring to go for a fast... Uh, like a Mythic Age through Hephaestus here. A lot of the times, if I, if I recall from how we would play team games way back when. We'll see if that's what he's going to uh, go for, but his resources climbing fairly nicely here. And we'll see what happens next. Maybe these villagers here will move over onto this gold mine or something. There is a bear here he has to be a little bit careful about. But honestly, the question is, what can Avely do here to come back? Uh, the problems for Avely is he doesn't have... Does he have husbandry? Yes, he doesn't have access to Scardi, so he doesn't have, or just yet, so he doesn't have winter harvest, so his food economy on these farms is just, frankly, slow. So, we'll see how it's going to go. Wiz does go through Apollo, which is 100% the correct play. I see people trying, uh, trying all kinds of manner of things here with Zeus. Just don't do Dionysus unless you've got water, is the general rule. Go Apollo. Even on, even if you've got water, sometimes don't go Dionysus. Apollo is so good here because it allows you to control uh, a lot. It allows you to control the pace a lot, prevents your opponent casting, frost, all of these types of things. Very, very important. So you see the walls coming up over here. Gold on this position here expiring fairly shortly. There's the Heroic Age for Wiz, a third town center coming down as well as these villages wrap up on that. On those berries, do we see a market anywhere here? The 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 uh, military academies are up, and Wizards food economy is skyrocketing, and we do indeed see the market. More houses coming down, so uh, no surprises here for me for what Wizards going for here. He's a uh, he loves this style of play. If he gets an advantage, just kind of mythic age and and convert is a, a fantastic uh, way to play this one. In all honesty. As the Hippocon running by. Gotta be careful. Granulations is through. Will these Hippocon get taken down? Oop, and he gets a centaur there. Not bad. Avery may have found the uh the Norse counter to Centaur. Just watchtowers and granulations. <laughs> watchtowers and granulations. How many resources is it? 300 for watchtowers, which equals silver more. Granulations, another 300, which equals a two centaur. Well, let, well, one and a half center, or well, one center well, equals one center. And, and Hera is the god of choice here for Wiz. I'm a bit surprised to see Hera when I would normally expect to see uh, something a little bit, I see the Hephaestus, but I guess he's expecting, he's got some sort of an advantage here. I would like to see irrigation as soon as possible here as we are seeing a fortress coming down but fortress Heliopoli, we've got the center roaming around here going to be looking to Cast that underworld on this location here. You can underworld from here up to here if he so chooses. So we are seeing those dwarves coming in. The uh, the signal fires coming in as well. As Wiz knows, I've said it a lot. Heliopolis are good, man. And he's going to get that. Not only that, but he can also get himself out his heroes without stunting that villager production that he's got uh, coming through here. As those units are 
uh, firing on all cylinders. Avery actually still managing to get to the heroic age here as he does click up through Scardi, so he does have some sort of a defensive maneuver here with the with the frost. As we see an archery range getting ah, uh, no need to build archers. Archers bad. Heal the Opali, good. Bra Avery picking Bragi. We got a throwback here. I'm not sure what the idea here is. Normally, you pick Bragi to go for some sort of a timing, but Avery going Bragi, maybe he sees that the only option is Rag, uh, Rag Flaming Weapons, which might make some sense if he can get there. We'll see how it's going to go. As we do see the uh, the Underworld getting dropped on this location, it means the gold on this spot will get denied. The villagers will have to retreat away. Uh, Hera has come through, so he can drop that Lightning Storm down, which he probably should be doing the units waiting over here we see the heliopoli coming in there's the lightning storm getting dropped down all of those units going to get taken out very very quickly here is the army retreating back the villagers jumping in to the town center as a whole bunch more of those units getting taken out there's the tower going down as Avery does hit the heroic age here he can throw a marker down sell wood try and go to the mythic age through balder here and see if he can get a ragnarok but wizard's economy is huge Avery is at 49 villages right now as the house gets taken down Wiz going to be rolling forward here with his heliopoli as the hoplites march forward to try and take this town center down the medusa in the back going to do its best here uh, and the town center will indeed get absolutely demolished here as Avery is moving up onto this gold mine here. We see the town center getting grabbed by Wiz going up to four town centers makes a lot of sense here. But the hoplites are out. We're going to be seeing even more upgrades coming through for Wiz. We see Call of Valhalla coming through for Avery as he's going to attempt to get some pretty strong old sarks through. As the market comes up, going to be selling that wood, I would assume, but it's still not going to be enough to get to the her, the Mythic Age here. Uh, as the Heliopoli wander in to take down the hill fort, the house is going to be getting absolutely massacred here by these hoplites. As Wiz is just saying, yep, time to go. The village is going to come in and grab this town center as well, pushing, pushing Wiz up to 100 and. Uh, 180 population potentially. There's the flaming weapons. Wiz returning away, but he probably doesn't need to, to be honest, uh, as he's at 160 pop. Uh, but respecting the flaming weapons just a little bit. The villagers coming forward. We've even got now Medium Myrmidon coming in, which are very, very scary as well. The Medusa sitting in the back here, not wasting any any time, doing all that good stuff. Where's the battle ball? Was the battle ball already taken out? Potentially, it was already taken out. And Avery's got little to nothing remaining and does decide to tap out here as Wiz manages to get in with his Sentai nice and early. All that early game damage was uh, absolutely uh, disgusting here as Avery just not able to hold on against the, the might that is the Zeus early game here without that hunt. It can be very, very difficult dealing with Sentai if you don't get those walls up. So... One thing is, you notice if you notice this map, early walls here, there's no need to go fast to the classical age, get these walls up, then the centaur are useless and he has to destroy the walls first and you can just build walls behind it and go, go kind of like that or build extra walls in your base kind of thing and just try and get heroic age. Definitely want to go through Scardi here. Uh, but nicely played by Wiz. We'll move on to game number two very shortly. If you guys enjoyed this game, please consider hitting the follow on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTubes, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next game.